I've stored these markers uh, on my site here and uh, I'm going to bring them into uh, Google Maps by uh, importing them from Google Earth. And these markers are 20 by 34 pixels and they look okay in Google Earth but when you bring them into Google Maps because they aren't on a square background they aren't on a 34 by 34 background and for that reason they look kinda fat when you bring them in but I'm gonna bring them in anyway and uh, I've got this um, spreadsheet that I've got here and uh, I've got it set up so that I can uh, take the the address of this prop of the, the the address of this marker and copy it and then uh, paste it right into here. And I've got a little um, formula here that will um, change the letter of the alphabet. So instead of typing each one, the URL of 1 through uh, uh, A through Z, I can just uh, paste, a th uh, paste A here uh, 26 times. And over here, It will um, it will change the letter to uh, Z. Can't see it here. Let's see. See, it's uh, Z down here. And then what I'll do next is just uh, copy all of these. And then paste them over here. do a paste special and just paste the values. And then I'll copy all of those and uh, and that's what I that's how I created this list uh, of A through Z. I just copied from that Excel spreadsheet and pasted them right into here. And the reason why we're doing all this is because uh, on my site uh, which you'll see uh, on the YouTube video, Travel map, map, map Icon. If you move down a little bit here, about this far down, there's another website that you can click on, and it's called um, Excel to KML. And what we're going to do is uh, use, we're going to create a spreadsheet so uh, we can import those markers right into um, Google Earth. So I've got another Excel spreadsheet set up to do this, and they're also on my uh, website. You can download them. They're templates, and I'm going to paste those. Hmm. Let's see. Go back here and copy again. I don't know why it didn't copy. Do copy this here. and then paste it into here. And so now we've got latitude, longitude, the name, and the icon. And I'm going to uh, change the latitude and longitude a little bit because I've already got some uh, icons there and I don't want to go over the same ones. So I'm just going to change this by about a degree or so. Change this to 46. Change this to 46. And I'll change this to, let's say, uh, 70. And change this to 70. Clear are these guys. I don't need these. And then uh, we'll just fill this in by series and click autofill. And now we've got some new coordinates, so they don't get mixed up with some other ones that I've got on my Google Earth. 
I'm going to save this as Excel template. Well, it's a template, so we're saving it as, uh, we'll just call them the uh, yellow fat markers. So we're going to go back to this uh, website that I just showed you, and we're going to browse for that file. And, uh, oops, I think we were just there. Uh, yellow fat markers. And we're going to click View on Google Earth. And we can save it to the, uh, the desktop and then just import it into Google Maps from there, but it's actually better to uh, let Google Earth do it. Because um, that way we can, we can adjust how it appears, the title appears in Google Maps. So there they are there. You can see they look fine here in, uh, in uh, Google Earth. I've got some others in here. I've got uh, all, these are all on my website. You can download, but I've got these uh, 50, 50 maps. I mean, yeah, 50 maps, and there's the letters that we just put in. So we'll go back to those letters and rename this to uh, markers, fat, yellow. A through Z. And then right click on it and save place as. We'll just leave the name there. We'll save it into our uh, KMZ files on our desktop. We're just overriding the one that I did earlier. And then we'll go back into uh, Google Maps. Click on My Maps. And we're going to create a new map. And you click on the import button and browse to where we save those. Uh, and there, I put them in this folder, KMZ files saved from Google Earth. And there are the fat yellow markers. And we'll uh, upload them. And there, there you are. See, there, they are fatter because they just don't translate well. We're done. So now when we go back to my maps and we want to uh, create a new map, and we uh, add a place mark, we want to go and change that. We'll have not only those uh, default icons, but we'll have th these icons to use as well.